back in Ashfield, a small village in Surrey, and I'm visiting a record fair again. I want to show you my top 10 rare records that I can find. In my last video, I looked at the weird and wonderful, but this time I want to take you around and I want to find some of the rarest things that I can find. Okay, there's some weird stuff like people going mad in Lewisham and the New York Dolls. There's even this rip-off of the Sex Pistols, but I want to find some stuff that's rare and valuable. So let's not worry about them, let's get on with the good stuff. The Radio Stars Holiday Album a new wave band formed by ex sparks member Martin Gordon. It was a new venture following the end of an underachieving supergroup called Jet. And looking at Martin's website, I can see this was from their age of unpleasantness phase, from which they would never recover. They went on to tour to support the album, but nobody could find it in the shop. In a vain attempt to ignore the reality, they extended the tour in the hope that one day the album would actually come out. Martin went off to have his wisdom teeth out and the other heads lacking in wisdom but not as a result of having their teeth taken out decided to go on tour without him and as Martin says on his website it all went pear shaped. But anyway on the back of the album it does say there's plenty of synthesizers. Nice. Here we are on the Stacks label Sam and Dave. They were an American R&B group who performed from 1961 to 1981. They're made up of Sam Moore and Dave Prater, nicknamed Double Dynamite, the Sultans of Sweat and even the Dynamic Duo. They were known for their gritty gospel infused performances and they're considered to be one of the top live acts from the 60s. There's many artists that cite them as an influence, Bruce Springsteen, Tom Petty, Phil Collins and of course the Blues Brothers who covered um, Soul Man in the film. Sam Moore is a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and he's currently 86 and Dave Prater was unfortunately killed in a car accident in 1988. The album's a great introduction to the Memphis sound that was produced by Jim Stewart. Edwin Starr, War and Peace. even comes with this insert talking about Motown fan clubs. You can join a fan club for Diana Ross, Temptations, Stevie Wonder, Supremes. $2.25 postage. What a bargain. Introducing the Beatles, this is the first US album from 1964. I only told you to blow the doors off. Hang on, that's the wrong film. Seriously, what the f are you doing? Anyway, this is the soundtrack to The Ipcrest File by the incredible John Barry. I'm not going to feature. Well, I already am. Stop it. Get some help. Here's the Jimi Hendrix Smash Hits compilation, but let's look at the withdrawn sleeve from Band of Gypsies. This is weird. Take a look at this. Do you know what this is? I don't know. It's the Jeff Wayne musical version of War of the Worlds featuring David Essex and David Essex and Phil Lynott. David Essex and Phil Lynott. Anyway, it comes in this nice gatefold uh, sleeve and funny sort of brochure thing. Nice. The Who. 
sellout. It's a classic album. Uh, the singer, Roger Daltrey, got very sick as a result of the cold baked beans and a heater or something. But anyway, he got very sick. Uh, but anyway, you can pick this up. It's not cheap, but it's well worth finding. In fact, it's so iconic that Heinz have released a uh, celebration of the album in a tin. Baked bean tin. But anyway, I digress. Here is number two. It's the Beatles' Please Please Me. And this is the one to get. This is the black and gold version. Collectors told me this is the rarity to have. I don't know, but you let me know in the comments. If you're enjoying this, smash that like button. And if you want to see hours of content that's similar to this, then check out the rest of my channel. What can you see? Well, there's interviews with old school hip hop artists. There's interviews with electronic musicians. There's even some punk. Your shit. Plus there's stuff on records, vinyl, and other pop culture stuff. So subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future stuff. And do what's right, subscribe. Subscribe to the Sky is YouTube channel. And here is number one. And yes, it's a classical record. What? What the f Yep, yep, bear with me, bear with me. Classical records can be rare. And this one caught my eye. 300 quid. So why is that rare? Just because it's there's very few of them. Milstein. Milstein's very, very, very desirable. Milstein. Nathan, what year is that? Nathan Mills, 57 I think. Is it? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please like, comment, subscribe. Put your comments below and check out my future videos. I've got loads planned and I think you're going to really enjoy them. Thanks for watching.